Okay, everyone's got to switch their mics off. So it's just me. Most importantly, that would just mean. Okay, just uh, you. Right, so you switch your mics, so just mute your mics. Okay, so um, you're just going to have to bear with me while I talk you through these seven points. And then, okay, as sir. I said, so switch your mics off now, please. And um, I'll talk you through these seven points. Then you're just going to have to bear with me while I switch the recording off. And then obviously you're welcome to hang on once the recording stops. I will leave the meeting and obviously you can then do what you want. So uh, obviously the first point is welcome to our first virtual tutor meeting. So um, I, I don't think it's really going to work that I sort of ask you all individually how you all are. So it'd be great if you wouldn't mind just dropping a one liner or a two liner on Teams on the post. You know that bit where we're just typing before the meeting started, just telling me how you are. Um, and obviously, if you're struggling a bit and you want to have a bit of a chat, but uh, just one line and just saying how you find stuff. So that was the first point. Um, I think I've covered all those bits up in purple. Yes, yeah, so the camera's off. Mute and less invited. And yes, record meeting. Yeah, so you're all clear that this has been recorded. Right, second point. Um, obviously, we're really keen that it's all, we've really been experimenting the last couple of weeks with um, uh, with trying to get used to teams. All the teachers have been practicing, uh, maybe doing videos on YouTube, whatever. But it's all been a real experiment and, and really it properly gets going after Easter. OK, so um, so Mr. James is going to be sending around a quick questionnaire tomorrow. So do look out for your emails, just asking you on how you're finding the work, because I think um, quite a few of you are just finding there's too much work and I think that's probably the teachers just not realising how long these things take. So please, please, please uh, just stick to the amount of time you would be having as a normal lesson. All right. So if the work you've been given is taking you more than 50 or 55 minutes, just stop. OK, now my understanding is that the idea is that we do normal lessons after Easter. Well, that's definitely what's happening. But I think the idea is then that there isn't any prep. I mean, I stand to be corrected on that, but it seems pretty harsh, I think, if all day you're, you're on the computers at home and then you're also expected to do a few hours in the evening. So I, I very much am assuming that the idea is there's no prep. So all you guys have to do is pretty much just stick to your normal timetable in the day. And, uh, and you know, once the lesson's over, it's over. If you've taken more than 50 minutes on it, tough. If the teacher's set you too much, tough. And if you find that you're getting stressed that some teachers are... Um, setting too much, just like if we're in normal school, I'd want you to let me and Mr. James know. Uh, point three. Mr. Whitmans, on that one. Yes. Can I, um, I'm not sure I'm with you on that one. I don't think there's going to be prep set. Yeah. However, there, the, I, th I think the idea is that they follow, as you said, their lessons as normal, um, yeah. but they might be expected to do a little bit of work outside of lessons so they might not actually set it as prep but they might just say can you make sure that you finish this for um sort of the next lesson if possible because there will be um sometimes for example my gcse group i teach on monday tuesday um and i need to move on to be able to move on with the syllabus so there may be a couple of lessons where you do have to do just a little bit of so said prep to get it done um I'd probably do him for the next couple of days and then um, just to keep, make sure that we're keeping up with our sort of schemes of work and stuff like that. OK, fair enough. So, so kind of prep is still sort of happening. Yeah, they might. They just might have to expect to work a little bit outside of lesson time. Yeah, fine, fine, fine. OK, thanks for clarifying that, Mr. James. So, um, right. So, yeah. So uh, there we are on that one. So, um Easter, there's no work being set. So my uh, obviously you guys are third form, so um, I'm, but I'm assuming that's throughout. I think that's also for fifth form and upper sixth too. So, um, but clearly from your point of view, there's no work being set over Easter. But that's not to say that you mustn't get the work done that's being set this week. So anything that's set today and tomorrow, that does have to be done. That's not holiday work. That is normal work. So just like Mr. James was just saying, if that spills over, um, and you know you haven't finished that Thursday night or Friday night, that's fine, that's your choice, but that, that will need to be done. Right, I think the big one is point number four, okay? It's really, really important that you understand 
how to load work up onto Teams. Okay. Now you might think it's a bit of a pain that teachers are being uh, aren't really wanting you just to email it through and what have you. But the key bit is we need to be able to mark it. Okay. And if you can get it loaded up onto Teams and onto the cl class notebook page, maybe assignments. I know teachers are still experimenting with assignments, but for now I'm just going to stick to the class notebook page. Um, it's ever so important because if you upload it the correct manner, we can literally, because we've all got these devices given by the school, we can literally mark it on the screen and, uh, and it will be there for you to see. So we don't have to uh, download it, we don't have to get any paper involved, we can literally mark it on the screen and only you and, and, and only your teachers and yourself can see it, it's private. So it's really good class notebook. Now please, 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 can you watch the Mr Buchanan video? You've got to watch it ever so precisely because there are specific ways that you've got to, on class notebook, you've got to go and make sure on the right hand screen that you're clicking precisely here on the screen to bring up the rectangle so that suddenly the, op the options to upload are there and what have you. I've had lots of my kids in my classes saying, well, it doesn't work for me. And it does, it's just they're not watching Mr. Buchanan's video carefully enough. So please watch this video, and if it's still not working for you, don't start bleating and saying it's not working for you. It is, you just haven't followed the instructions properly yet. So please, can you watch that? You'll see that I've uploaded that onto our Teams tutor group page. Uh, you know that bit where you're just saying hi and everything? It's just there a little bit higher up. So after this meeting, it would be great if you could watch Mr. Buchanan's video. Uh, also, Mr. Kent's done a really good video uh, where he's really explaining quite an easy way just to do it all on your phone. So you literally, you don't have to get a scanner out, you don't have to do anything. You do the work on paper and then somehow or other using your phone, you can literally just drop those pages straight into your class notebook page. So, and again, Mr. Kent's video, I have gone and um, uh, I, put, I popped it just by Mr. Buchanan's video. So please, can you put it on your to-do list to, to, um, to follow those. And if you want to practice just dropping stuff into our tutor group t uh, class notebook pages, just as a test, I'm very happy for you to experiment there. And then just drop me a quick one liner on posts in Teams and say, look, I think I've gone and uploaded it. Can you just go and check it's there? And I'm very happy just to help you check that out. Right, I think number five, I think I've already sort of touched on that, okay. Um, after Easter, uh, we're going to be following a normal timetable. So, um, so you literally, you need to get up, get ready, um, and make sure that you're following the normal timetable. Just like Mr. James was saying, there is going to be a little bit of spillover into a little bit of work after lessons. So um, I got that bit wrong. Uh, number six, uh, yes, and again, after Easter, it's, we're trying to make it as much like school as possible. So there will be registration in the mornings. Now you need to register by 11 o'clock. Uh, I would suggest you do it earlier. I would suggest you just get into your normal routine, you register at eight, but you've got up until 11. Uh, there is a way that we're gonna be doing that through Teams and through assignments that you just need to go on there and press submit. And there are videos that have been put out there for us teachers to get that very familiar with that. I must admit, I haven't had uh, enough time to do that yet, but you, you'll need to be on the lookout for that. And obviously I will be back in touch on that first day after Easter, just to make sure that you're all comfortable with how, how to do that. At the end of the day, it's straight away after Easter, we can't, um, I, I haven't got up to speed with that assignment business. I just want you all to go and say hi, just like you did before this meeting. If you just all say hi, um, if, if we haven't got that assignment thing up and running, that would be fine. And then I can just upload that information onto um, to Sims at school. Yes, and then really number seven, I guess, follows on from number one. That you know, I do want you to keep in touch with us. Anything that's bothering you or what have you, either just drop me um, a, a private message on uh, Teams. Um, I forget what it's actually called, but that bit where you can just do—it's like a direct message, so nobody else will see that, and we can just have a typing chat. Or if you want, we can just arrange just to have a, a you know, one to one sort of conference call. So and that will apply for both me and Mr. James. So um, do keep in touch. You know, just because we're all stuck at home doesn't mean that we're we're not interested in you keeping up to date with both the studies. But, you know, also how you're feeling. This is all pretty unsettling times. So that's it from me. So uh, as I said, I, I don't have any problem. The chat and, put, uh, and do whatever you want to do. But it must be after I've gone. So please 
wait until the recording's finished because uh, uh, probably me but i think it's also the system is quite slow before i can access it to stop the recording so please i don't want you doing anything until you know okay so bye guys and oh yes just to remind you we're repeating this tomorrow morning hopefully those six people will turn up tomorrow morning but we'll do something more fun tomorrow morning i'm thinking maybe we'll do a kahoot or something so if you've got any good kahoots that you think people would like to do um, I, I think we'll try and do something tomorrow. So we'll still meet up, but we've got all the admin out of the way. We can just do something a bit more fun tomorrow. Okay, cheers, guys. Have a good day. Don't don't start talking yet. Wait, wait till I've got the video. Wait till I've stopped recording, guys. Okay, stop recording. Is this how to work? Still not sure that's good. Recording. Okay, I'm just about to stop the recording, guys. So goodbye.